Just like my body has gotten tired I'm not inspired The way I once was When I was stronger I'd always take the long way home this morning, having some avocado toast with some hard boiled eggs on top. Nice and ripe avocados. And recently purchased a bread maker. Making homemade bread is so good. Well, I know it won't get better. Simply pretend I did well. I got to fight it. Feel the sunshine reflecting off the window sill. Well, that was 4,600 yards, felt uh, pretty good. That's uh, the longest swim workout I've done in a while. So now I believe I broke 15K for the week again. That's kind of been my goal is hitting 15K in swimming since I'm not running. Now I'm headed to Target real quick to pick up some hangers because uh, doing a little reorganizing of the girls' rooms and then planting a bunch of tomatoes. The local tomato festival was uh, last week picked up a bunch of tomatoes and I want to get them planted before I have surgery because there is no way I'll be carrying dirt and doing a bunch of squats and things like that post-surgery. So I need to get them planted today. Hurry up, no. Whoa, what is that thing? It's um my leprechaun trap. It's a he leprechaun came. trap? Yeah, he came, he heard some gold horns and guess what he got me? Holy moly! Spoiled dog. It has been a ton of work, but working with the girls, we have gotten rid of a ton of toys they do not play with and organized, well, almost organized the playroom here and their bedroom, which is why I got the hangers, is really looking pretty good. Other than they did not make their beds. I know what this is. It is a get well present from Beanbox. Ryan reached out and said uh, that he hopes my surgery goes well and he wanted to throw some coffee in the mail for me. So we will be making this tomorrow. These are mostly the tomatoes. There's a couple of uh, things like oregano and mint and basil in here, but primarily they are tomatoes, all kinds of varieties of tomatoes that we will be planting today. But one thing I need to do is put up a little fence so the dog doesn't eat our vegetables. Well, I started working on tomatoes and I forgot to start recording. Got a lot of the heavy stuff out of the way already. One of the issues we had last year was the squirrels destroyed everything. So I think I'm gonna go back to the chicken wire fence this year. And next year we might do some rearranging and some better plumbing, but uh, because of my surgery and we're a little late in the game because it's been raining so much here in California, we're just focused on tomatoes at the moment. Maple. Maple. Those are my gloves. What are we 
playing? Volleyball. Volleyball. We volleyball. My partner doesn't look like she's gonna be the most effective partner. Hey, and that's my volleyball. I won that volleyball. Set. Good morning. It is Sunday morning, and today. I'm getting in my last long bike before surgery. It's starting to sprinkle a little bit this morning, but I think that's gonna clear up before we start. I think there's uh, three or four of us meeting. We're gonna do a nice hilly climb for those that are prepping for Oceanside. Well, this morning we are doing a 50 mile bike ride. It is about 2,600 feet of elevation gain. Oceanside is 2,700 feet over 56 miles. So this is a pretty good simulation of what the race is like. Well, there may only be three of us after all this morning. What's going on here? I know, so fancy. Where's the shield? Where's the shield? gonna destroy Oceanside. <laughs> Got Annie. I'm actually wearing my race helmet, but I didn't bring my visor. was 45 miles, felt really good. Haven't done uh, hills like that in a while. So definitely felt the burn. Felt like I was getting to the maximum of uh, what I was capable at the moment right now. But now I'm gonna grab quick breakfast and then home to work on the guard. Where are we going? We're going to the Ducks game. What are the Ducks? Uh, Hockey. Hockey team. <laughs> Is this your first hockey game ever? Yes, I think it's your first hockey game ever. You're like a jukebox, baby, different song every day. I'm spending all my money just so I can hit play. And every song I sing along, you're like a jukebox, baby. And I like it that way. You're the type I'd walk the line with, take my time with, fantasize with. Did you enjoy your first hockey game? Made us stay all the way to the end, huh? Who won? Not the Ducks. <laughs> <laughs> the Canucks. Good morning, it is 5 a.m. It is raining really light outside. Uh, it's supposed to take a break today and hopefully uh, not rain again until this evening. Getting the pups out for a quick walk before heading off to swim. Today will be my last workout before surgery and the first day of long course swimming. Over the weekend, the pool was changed from 25 yards to 50 meters, which is one of my favorite. I love swimming long course. And unfortunately, I'm gonna miss the first few weeks, hopefully only the first few weeks of swimming. Last swim done. That 50 meters is a long way. Well, I am back from swim and it is time to make, that didn't, that didn't work. That didn't work. And it is time to make some coffee. I mentioned the other day that bean box 
sent me uh, a get well package. So I am gonna test it out before surgery today. I'm gonna make a cup of this milk money coffee, a little pour over. So thanks Ryan, thank you Beanbox, love the coffee. All right, well I just got a call from the surgical center. My surgery has been moved up by a half hour. So instead of arriving at 6 a.m., I'm getting there at 5.30. Surgery starts at seven. The procedure is supposed to take about three hours. Out of surgery around 10, into recovery, and recovery they're saying three to four hours to wake up, make sure everything's okay. And then hopefully, Hopefully we're on the way home by one, two o'clock. My mom is headed over this evening to watch the girls. We're gonna head down tonight, stay right across the street from the surgical center at a Hilton. That way, don't have to make that drive in the morning. So right now, I'm just throwing the stuff I need together. Should be minimal. Really, really loose pants, a t-shirt, some socks, a jacket. That's about it. Toiletries, they actually had me buy a special soap to use. I think it's called Hiba Cleanse. But there should only be one incision, I believe, right in the middle of the pubic area. We'll see, hopefully I don't wake up and there's a bunch of incisions, but I believe just one incision. Well, it is 8.30, I'm gonna get to work. I'm gonna work a full day and then we're gonna head down this evening. All right, well, we are on the way. You ready? Sure. Headed to Marina Del Rey. Should take just over an hour from here right now. Uh, hopefully traffic isn't too bad. checked into the hotel. Gonna go grab some dinner in a little while and uh, just hang out, relax for the night. I am in the stairwell of the hotel, just getting some morning steps in, waking the body up. It's raining outside, so I didn't want to go walk in the rain. Slept pretty good in the beginning of the night, but by one in the morning, I was pretty much waking up every half hour, checking my phone. I don't feel super nervous, but obviously there's some sort of nerves going on. <laughs> so it is 5.35, we arrived, uh, they let us in, but the people that are supposed to be here at 5.30 are running late. Surgery is done. I am in recovery. I have coffee and a fig bar. Well, I made it in the car. That was a little bit painful. 
They wheeled me out in a wheelchair. I've got crutches somewhere back here. And uh, that feels like record time. What time is it? 12.18. 12.18, look at that. Are you telling everybody it was a penis surgery? The real reason? Not a pubis, a penis? We enlarged your penis. We are almost home. Very little traffic, which is great. And uh, no rain at the moment. My voice is a little raspy. It's amazing what you can do on pain meds. Oh, I'm being attacked. Okay, it's easier to walk. All right, well, it is four o'clock. Figure I would uh, give a little update. Um, overall, my pain isn't too bad while laying. I am uh, laying in bed now. Uh, it does hurt to move around or to kind of push myself to sit up. I just went to the bathroom for the first time since I got home and uh, getting out of bed was not too bad. Kind of could roll to my side and, and get out but getting back into bed is horrible. It's uh, excruciating. I'm currently waiting for a phone call from my surgeon. Um, he's gonna give me a call and talk to me about the surgery and how much damage there actually was. I also had a little bit of a shock a couple hours ago when I started reading my um, post-surgery care notes that he wrote me. One, I will be going to physical therapy. But the biggest shocker was the fact that uh, these crutches, I'm going to be on crutches for three weeks, which is um, a huge, huge shocker. I'm holding out hope that that was a typo and uh, I will verify that when I talk to my surgeon, but uh, three weeks on crutches is a real shocker to me. Apparently my food is being delivered. Aww. You're amazing. Do you need help pulling it over? I don't know where to put it. What, what do you got on there? Here, here, here. Oh, perfect. What is that? Um, it's a little card I made you. And yeah, that looks very nutritious. <laughs> and you made me a get well present. I like the avocado. And you wrote me a card. Good morning. Feeling better today than I was last night already, so that's good. I talked to the surgeon last night. <clears throat> My voice is shot for some reason. Well, I talked to the surgeon last night and uh, I do need to be on the crutches uh, from two to three weeks for sure. Uh, he does not want me putting lots of weight um, and just keeping me stable. So that is really unfortunate because Oceanside is less than two weeks away and I was really hoping to go down there and cheer. Maybe I can still make it, we will see. The moment I am feeling pretty good, I'm not in too much pain just standing here and the last pain pills I took were around eight o'clock last night. I just removed all of the dressing, which was um, very saturated with blood. The incisions are basically right here just above your junk and uh, maybe two or three inches up. There is a second incision, which is where the camera went in and then they used the camera down and then they did surgery this way. Dr. Matsuda said that he was able to successfully shave both sides of the pubic bone down to increase the gap. 
Uh, he also cut all the bad tissue away in between the pubic synthesis tissue. I did have a catheter, which uh, I'll tell you, mind over matter now when uh, I've had to go pee because uh, it does burn a little bit. They use the catheter to deflate the bladder so that uh, because the bladder sits right behind your pubic bones, they needed to deflate that so that he was able to get all the way around it to shave the bones down. The right ab was torn away from the pubic plate. So they use like anchor stitches, I believe, and somehow they anchor to the pubic bone and then they, they sutra the tendon of your, below your ab or your ab back to the pubic bone. And uh, apparently the human body is amazing. It will grow back to the pubic bone. Other good news is uh, in two weeks from today, my sutras should come out. Then he felt one more week after that, so three weeks out, I could get in the pool and I could do some really light swimming, no flip turns, nothing hard, just some really, really light swimming, as well as start some aqua jogging. Even sooner than that, uh, apparently in about five days, I can, uh, if it doesn't hurt too bad, I can get on my Peloton bike and set it for zero resistance and start doing some spinning. Beyond that, it's going to just be recovery for um, the next 12 weeks. Um, slowly, I'll be able to incorporate a little bit more. Uh, in 10 days, I will start physical therapy. I really don't know what that entails, but at least once a week, I'll be going to physical therapy for a while. I did receive a package yesterday while I was out for surgery. My new Apple laptop, so I didn't feel like opening it yesterday, but I'm gonna pop this bad boy open right now and get it charging. There's a very curious person standing here. 